Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a short video on this uh, Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger. It's their 12 volt, 30 amp, uh, single output, or one output uh, battery charger. And besides uh, having a lot of settings on it, uh, it's got the one that's crucial for our purposes in the reconfiguration of our uh, system. Since we're running lithium, that this does have a lithium uh, charging parameter built into it. Um, it's a very s solid unit. It uh, feels extremely well built. Of course, you know it has just fantastic reviews. It's becoming like the gold standard uh, for charging, uh, external charging for those living on solar. Um, up here is the fan. You can't see it, but it's in there. Try and give you a close up. And what those look like. The you got a normal charging, high, reconditioning, if you're going to try and bring back some, like, dead lead acid. But there's the one I'm interested in, lithium, and that's what this was going to be set to. So, it also comes with a very heavy duty, uh, about a six foot power cord. And then there's your uh, receptacles for uh, your cables. They recommend using six AUG cables in here, and they did not come with the unit. This is all that this comes with. Here's the box it came with, in case any of you are interested what that might look like. I'm not going to go through the whole taking it out of the box thing, but that's what it did come in. So there it is, out of the box. So the way you access these uh, to apply your own cable, 6 AUG, is you, this just snaps off. Just give it a little pressure, pull it down, takes it off. As you can see, it's got a 40 amp fuse, positive, negative connections, with a nice Phillips and a good size Phillips uh, screw, so you don't have to use anything but your like normal sized Phillips screwdriver which I really like seeing devices that are uh, built to take you know a heavy duty uh, cable and that's what these are nothing Mickey Mouse about this very nice and uh, today uh, going to run through some of the parameters that this thing can do on the lithium setting. But I first want to say that, uh, like a lot of you that live on solar, uh, we actually try to never ever have to use uh, a generator for backup power. But as a lot of you know, that's not always the case and sometimes you do have to rely on some backup charging power. Uh, where I live, it gets very, very dark. Uh, in the winter time, we can go literally weeks without even seeing the sun. And since, uh, for those of you that have been following this channel, know that everything I've been doing recently is in preparation of building this system up, getting ready to drop in that 300 amp hour next to the uh, 300 amp hour we already dropped in there to turn this into a 600 amp hour bank. And then I wanted the uh, capability of, you know, sticking a charger on it. And the reason I went with the 30 amp, they have smaller ones, of course, but if I'm running the generator, I want to run it for the shortest time possible. I, I just cringe when I have to turn on a generator, and I don't do it very often. Even on these uh, cloudier days around here where the sun just, just won't even peek through, uh, I'm built pretty much to where I still get up to a full charge. Like, you know, that battery pack, it's the end of the day now. I'm up to 81% uh, full charge there. This is the 
uh, Chin's smart version battery that we're going to use for today's demonstration with this. So let's get the uh, cables applied to this and we'll tie it into this battery and see what it looks like on the app. Uh, you want to go to the uh, your app store for whatever device you're using. Uh, it, it is Android, iOS, and PC, so whatever app store you're using. Uh, you go there, download the Victron uh, Connect app, and it'll immediately, when you plug this in, you can immediately find it, download it onto your device, and you can program it and monitor it through your uh, smart device because this is a smart charger and we're very excited about it. So, okay, no more no more further ado on that. Let's get those cables up and see what it looks like. So I just uh, happen to have uh, some some six aug wire here. Uh, these I will these ends I will leave as they are. I always mark which one's going to be negative with a little black tape just so I never uh, am in doubt uh, as to which is which. And we're going to tie them into this battery. The other ends you have to cut off. And the same thing. I mark the negative always uh, just so there's never any doubt of what I'm doing. I've got so many wires running around that I just do that to make sure you always know what you're uh, dealing with. So I'm going to tie these into that charger and hook them up to the battery and we'll see what the app looks like. Okay, I got the the uh, cables tied in there. Really nicely built. Uh, very, very solid so you can really torque those things down in there and get a very uh, tight connection which is exactly what you want. So r really impressed so far with the build quality of this. Just solid all the way. And then the cover just snaps right back into place. Keeps that all nicely protected. Very nice. Everything fits, just snaps in there. Nice and solid. That's the way it should be. Okay, got them tied onto the battery. Uh, the generator is running in the background as I cringe. <laughs> I don't like running it, but boy, I'm glad to have some backup when needed, and this is the one to get. So I'm plugging in the unit right now, and I'll just move this around, and you can see that it came on right away. It's in its bulk charge. I already preset it to the uh, lithium setting, so now I'm going to open up the app and show you what that looks like. So we know we're charging. Everything looks good. Everything's nice and tight. And let's jump into the app and see what that looks like. I already know that this battery is sitting at 75% charge. Didn't really need to charge it up today by any means, but we're just doing it for these purposes. Uh, so we can see what it does. Okay, so this is what the app will look like on your device. I've got it on my tablet as well as my phone. I'll try and get that at the distance where you can read it. But anyway, there's the device. Connects up very quickly. Comes with a default pin, so don't worry about that. When you first start it, you can just put in the six zeros. You can also, uh, you know, put your own uh, pin in there for security if you're worried about other people messing with the parameters of your charger. So here we go. Uh, it's voltage reads at 13.79, 30 amps going in, and it's got a history. It will show you everything you've done with this battery, number of discharges, cycles completed, number of power-ups, cycles completed, cycles started. A lot of information. If you go into the settings, you can uh, 
of course leave it at 30 amps which is the full capacity of this charger or you can uh, knock it down to 15 amps if you want to charge at a slower rate or what they also call a nighttime usage to where dropping it down to that the fan won't kick on so I'm assuming the fan makes a little bit of noise which uh, might be an issue for people that are using it in a van or a camper or something like that not an issue for uh, us out here and if that generator is running, we're going to be cranking 30 amps to get that generator turned off as uh, quick as possible. So there it is, charging at 30 amps. So it also has an advanced settings, um, which I'm just now pressing for the first time. And it throws up a caution right off the bat saying this built-in battery presets work well for most of the batteries. Change advanced battery settings only if your battery has special requirements. So we're going to press OK and go into that. And that's so you can change on the lithium your own settings. If you want to just uh, manipulate them a little bit to your usage and the, and the way you want to apply it, uh, you know, you don't want to go up to the, the full charge that it rec recommends, then you can do it yourself. And what that looks like, uh, you know, you can you can also go into expert mode. So this is where you can totally fine tune uh, your lithium battery to what you want. And since there are so many uh, uh, differing uh, opinions and uh, needs for whatever you're doing with your batteries, you, a lot of people don't like taking these up to 100% very often at all. Uh, I am currently uh, always shooting for about 80% uh, full, and I like to fluctuate between 80 and about 25%, and that's fine, just to increase the life of these batteries by many, many years, supposedly, by doing that. So the other thing you can do is you can change your absorption voltage, float voltage, which is disabled, of course, but, uh, you know, storage voltage. You can just come in here and fine-tune it to whatever what you, whatever you want and then at a glance when it's uh, charging you'll be able to see what you've got going on so pretty great user-friendly app um, I'm not that uh, you know I'm more technically challenged so uh, but this is very very easy to run through so here we are charging away so just for fun, I bounced into the app uh, for this uh, Chin Smart Battery that is a separate app just to see uh, how it was uh, jiving with the controller uh, numbers and it's, it's, they're basically identical. Uh, it said 75% when I started this just a few minutes ago at 30 amps. It's pushed it up to 79%. So. It's basically full, too. I'll let it go a few minutes, get it back up there into the low 80s. Voltage, 13.64. The health of the battery, perfect. Status, oops, sorry about that. And, uh, and then here, uh, current, it's charging, 29. I'll try and give you a shot of that. 29.2, 29.3 amps. So, there it is. Very accurate. Close enough to 30 that we'll say everything's working just absolutely right. And then, of course, this app also gives you the, the readings of the individual cells. So, anyway, that's the app for the battery itself. And I was just curious to how that looked with all of this. Looks great. 29.2 amps out of a 30 amp rated charger. So all is good. I, I don't expect everything to be exactly right. Uh, a couple little digits off is no big deal. So looking great. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, I can say now it's only been running a few minutes. This thing is is quite warm actually, uh, warmer than I think I would have expected. I haven't heard the fan kick on yet, 
but it's warm. It's not hot, but it's very warm to the touch. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, we're going to run this through a lot more uh, use. Uh, and especially we're going to give it a lot of exercise when we tie up that extra battery to there. And that's what it's, that's what it's all about, is being able to quickly, you know, if need be, just bump up that 600 amp hour pack. But all in all, just running it through the initial uh, things that I did with, with you guys today. This is great, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of other reviews on it, but this is pretty nice. It's going to do the job. Okay, I'm fully charged for the day. I'm heading out to turn that generator off. Thanks again. Thanks for subscribing, everyone. Really appreciate the support. Aloha. Catch us next time. We're getting ready to drop that battery. It's going to be wild.